What's up everybody? Welcome to Perfect Form Forever where we talk anime, manga, and everything in between. Happy holidays. I don't think I said that in any of my December videos, but happy holidays. The holiday, we're in the holiday season, so I just want to say whatever holiday you celebrate, hopefully, hopefully you have a joyous occasion coming towards the end of the year. So one thing that happened at the end of the year is Jump Festa 2013. So we're gonna talk anime today. Finally. Now, nah. so uh, so what Jump Festa is, uh, is pretty much, it's over in Japan. It's uh, Shonen Jump. I guess my favorite <laughs> animators or collection of whatever. They, they put out most of the anime that I watch. So this is a little, I guess, expo, I think it is, of what's coming to for next year. All right, and I just wanna discuss a little bit about the stuff that I'm excited for for next year that, that came out of this event. And one important thing that we need to do. All right, so let's jump right into this video. I'm having my iPad with me because I can't remember all the stuff that went on there. All right, so again, Jump Festa 23. We're gonna go through some of the announcements that piqued my interest and uh, one of them that I really wanna get into. So the first one, and I'll have things up so I, you know what I'm talking about, so I'm just not rambling on. So again, we're going to speak about things that I'm, in, I'm interested in. First one is um, Spy Family, right? What do they do? They announced the sequel set for 2023. The franchise is getting an original movie. So let's see. Also, the Badu Badu supervising the story movie. Second season will continue at that. All right, so the second season... It's going to happen next year and also an original movie. So this uh, Spy Family is something that I do keep up on on the manga scene. That means I, I read it on the, the Shonen Jump app. So I'm, I'm, up, I'm not, as of this moment, I'm not up to date because I just finished uh, reading Hunter x Hunter. And now I'm catching up with all the other ones I'm, I'm reading. So this one, like the reason I, I watch Spy Family, it doesn't fulfill my OP character Category, category, but it is something fun to read because it's funny and it does have some action. So, and I don't know, Lloyd and the chick, they do seem kind of overpowered. <laughs> Lloyd doesn't, he doesn't lose, and uh, and uh, the the whole family seems like they're doing the thing. So we'll we'll consider them overpowered at the time being. All right, so they do fulfill the they do fulfill my OP category. But it's just something very fun to to watch and uh, to to watch and to read. So I'm really enjoying it. And anything I can enjoy, just to, for the love of just looking at it or reading it, I'm gonna be into it. So I'm glad to get in the second season. I knew that they'll get an anime. What that's one thing I knew that they'll get an anime because it was it was it was great. It had a good amount of action, good amount of comedy, and a good amount of just weirdness. So it was uh, uh, it was set to be great, and it seems like when I went, I actually went to anime anime con, whatever the hell it's called, out here in um, LA, and you got a lot of people dressed up as either either three of the characters. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. So what else is going on? Uh, Demon Slayers getting their next season, their, their next arc. I think it's called the Sword. We had uh, the yeah, the, the the Swordsmith Village arc. So I've read the whole, the whole manga of um, Demon Slayer, so I know what happens in this one. So one thing about Demon Slayer, it just looks great to watch. Like it's a great looking anime, and the animation I think it's Aniplex, if I'm not mistaken. They just did a good job of animating it. So uh, when you had the first season, you had the Mugen Train, then you had the entertainment arc. It j it just looked phenomenal, and I believe this is going to be just the same way. It's going to be a lot of action, new. Um, what are you called? My mind is foggy. So when I read something and watch it, I tend to forget about it when I go to the next thing. But a new, uh, we'll call them captains, going to be on the scene. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm looking forward to reading, to watching that and see how the adaptation is into anime because they've been doing a good job. All right. Something that I watch. Something, <laughs> another uh, anime I'm looking forward to. I want to read the manga, but I watched the anime first is Dr. Stone. So Dr. Stone, does he fulfill my OP character uh, category? Yes. He is OP in the brain. <laughs> He's mad smart. 
So he's OP somewhere. He's OP in the brain. In the brain. And I, it's just, uh, I don't know. For them, I have a, a seventh month old now. And this is kind of uh, anime I want him to watch because it has to do with being intelligent and adapting to your situation and what you can make in your situation. So I'm really looking forward to the third season, see what's going on. I want to read the manga, but I want to see if they get a box set. I think they're going to get a box set because I know it wrapped up. I'm not sure, I'm not sure on the English side, but I know on the Japanese side, they did their last volume. So I believe that in a few months, hopefully, since it's a, a Fizz uh, title, that he'll that they'll get a complete box set, and I'll cop the box set because I ain't paying for them singles. All right, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, one I'm looking forward to that I don't know about, I haven't read it, I don't know do too much about it, but I've heard other people talk about it is a uh, Hell's Paradise. I'm not sure if it fits into my categories, but I'll give it a watch. It comes out next year. Hell's Paradise. And MAPPA's doing it. The studio MAPPA, they did uh, Attack on Titan. That's all I have to say. They're, they're dope. So I'll watch it just because they, they're doing it. All right. Then we have uh, Blue Exorcist, which has been, this one has been on um, Netflix for a long time. I've watched it. I've enjoyed it. It doesn't fit under my OP character, OP, o, my OP category, but it is something fun to watch. I watch some things in between animes, or if, if I watched all of my primary animes or have nothing to watch, I'll watch something like this and, you know, be entertained and, you know, continue with it. So that one I'm looking into. Now a big one, a big anime, a big manga that's turning into anime and that's releasing next year, right? Yes, that's released, that's premiering next year, that totally... OP character Gordy fulfillment is Mashal Magic and Muscles. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite mangas to read. My favorite. I don't buy it. I read it, but I don't buy it because again, I'm waiting for a box set because I ain't about that singles life far, as far as uh, Fizz Media. But man, this one, Magic and Muscle, man, of course. Is an overpowered, char overpowered character. Of course, it's entertaining. Of course, it's filled with action. Of course, there's a, a tournament arc. Yes, there is. There's a tournament arc. So there's other powerful uh, characters. This fills everything, and I can't wait for the manga. The Damn, I'm getting mixed up. The uh, anime adaptation, I'm going to be on it. So one thing I sh sh should tell you how I watch my anime. So the only anime I watch week after week is One Piece. And maybe Baruto, but we'll get into that later, right? I can't, I have to watch it every week, right? And what I do with the other anime is that I save, I save the episodes. Literally, I save them and wait till they finish so I can watch them straight. So what I do is I watch One Piece. Then I'll say, okay, let me start watching. Let's say, let's take a new one. Let's say I want to watch uh, Mob Psycho, right? That one's about to finish up with its 12th episode, I believe. So I'll, I'll stop watching One Piece until I finish Mob. Then at the end of Mob, I'll go back to One Piece, watch whatever I missed. Then I'll find another anime, let's say Chainsaw Man. If that's done, I'll watch it through. Then a few weeks, One Piece gets two or three episodes. I'll go back to One Piece, watch those. Then I go to another series. So that's how I jump around. I save series and I watch my weekly series. So this one, this Mashal one, Depending on how many episodes, I'll save it so I can just enjoy it through. That's why I'm, I'm always kind of behind on new anime because I save them until they're all out. So all the current stuff that's going on now, like Mob Psycho, Chainsaw Man, what else is coming out? Uh, what, what's coming out that I'm interested in? Uh, Misfits of uh, Demons Academy, I think it's called. That one's one of my, I like that one. Um, what else is out? Uh, the The current season or the current season of um spy family i haven't watched it but i'm i'm saving those to watch through um uh this one about this guy in school <laughs> a, a comedy one but it's uh hilarious i forget what it's called um what else so there's several animes it's like maybe five of them that i'm just saving until they're finished and so i can watch it through all right so back to the jump fest oh Black Clover, great and 
Man, great anime. Overpowered character? Yes. Overpowered character. Asta? 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 Is overpowered? <laughs> he is overpowered and his, uh, his buddy friend, brother, is overpowered as well. So, and all the other uh, wizards are overpowered. So, again, so they're getting a movie next year. So, I'm going to be on that. I'm reading that one. I'm, uh, I'm not up to date at, at this moment, but I am far ahead. So, that's one I'm reading. And I'm not buying the singles until a box set comes out. So, I'm looking forward to that original. Is it an original movie? Boopity boop boop boop. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's original. Probably not. But I'm looking forward to that movie. Now, this one, um, Undead Unluck, I did read it, but I stopped because it got a little, a little wacky. A lot of, I, I couldn't keep up with it, but I do plan on watching the anime, which is supposed to come out, I believe, next year, maybe later next year. I will watch it because the first part, the first, I will, I'll say that what they're going to put in the first season was good. So that's, the, again, that covers, that doesn't cover my OP character. Well, his power is kind of overpowered. And how he uses it is dope, but it's something to watch. All right, something to watch. All right, what we got? Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen season two coming out next year, probably in the summer. We all over that. I think that's another Mappa production. We're gonna be all over that one. All the first season was done beautifully. My little brother even watches that one. He's like, "Yo, have you seen this one?" I was like, "Yup, done beautifully." Um, I stopped reading the manga on that one because that one got a little. A bit redundant, but I need to go back into that one. So season two, Juice Kaisen, all in. Especially, oh, especially where they left off because they have a oh, the big fight sequence coming up. Oh, we gonna watch that. That's right. I, I just remembered. All right. See what else they got coming up that where that I'm interested in. Okay, so that's pretty much it. No, no, sorry, no, no. I'm seeing one. Boopity boop boop boop. Okay, so no. So, uh, Bleach might be doing a finale of the Thousand Year Blood War. I haven't watched Bleach and I haven't read the th this arc, but I have all the Bleach volumes in the three box sets. So, I am going to read those before I watch Bleach. So, I'm just going to save them until, um, until I, after I read it. So, that's another one I'm, I'm saving currently. All right, and... Um, and uh, uh, how do you say his name? Kiriko's Basketball. That's uh, that's an anime I watched in passing, and I enjoyed it. So if they make something new with that, I will watch it. It's it's a basketball one, and it it was it was entertaining. So I will watch that if it does come out with something, either a movie or another season, because that yeah, that was a dope one to watch. Now, let's talk about one specific anime, two in particular. Naruto and Boruto. So, a, we'll say a, a good amount of information came out about these, about this anime. One being that um, one uh, volumes that, that have been coming out is um, Sasuke's story. So, I'm thinking, I don't know much about this, but what I've been hearing is that this is the true, um, the true, we'll say, conclusion after the Naruto season ended. So, this is like the the concluding between it should be between Naruto and Bruto, so just to fill to fill in that gap because when it went to Bruto, it went just somewhere else. So that is a whole different story that I might get into today. But Sasuke's story and the U, the Uchiha and the Heavenly Star Dust. I'm not sure what that is. So it's a novel. So they're gonna be filling in some of the blanks with this. Okay, this is under Bruto. Okay. So it seems like they're going to be doing things with Naruto, but who cares? This is the big thing I want to get through today. One thing they said about Naruto is that they've been putting out these, uh, um, I guess, re, I don't know, redesigned or up-to-date scenes on Twitter. I've seen them on Twitter about uh, Naruto, some of the classic scenes, and people thought they're going to like redo the anime again, but it seems like there's no confirmation on that as of right now. But what they did is that they're putting out a, like a global vote to see who gets a short story about, about that character. So either about their era or whatever. 
So they have, I'll put the, the website in the com, not the comments, in the description, whatever. But they have a, a website where you can vote for a person that would get a, a short story dedicated to that character. And when you go to the in, when you go to the website, it has every character imaginable in Naruto. It has characters that you like. Wait, this person gets a vote in a vote in. But the reason I'm bringing this up because I need y'all to go to the site and vote for Madara. <laughs> so Madara is is it? I, I'm not sure. It, uh, people say I say Madara because that's how they say it in the in the sub. But here I hear people call him Madara. Whatever, his name is Madara. Madara is my favorite character in this anime. Bar none. More than Sky Sasuke, more than Itachi, more than Naruto, more than um, Kakashi, Guy, Rock, all of them. Madara is my favorite character. And I need you guys to vote so this good man gets his justice. So I want to see him in the Warren, the Warren States. Like the first Ninja War and all that. I need to see him in action. I need to see more of him in action because the way he... Sweet. Let me show you a, a clip of what he can do. I mean, damn, come on now. Don't you want to see more of that? So he's just a ninja master. Him and the first Hokage, I would vote for either of them. <laughs> because their, their story kind of intertwined. So vote for either of them, but definitely vote Madara because we need to see more of that man. I plan on getting this. I plan on get. I want a, there's a, I'm waiting for a good Madara statue to come out so I could buy it. Just him alone. But yeah, he's my favorite character. You guys need to go down to this link, find Madara in the, in the midst of all these characters, and vote for this man because he needs more justice. And it's done by the original creator of Naruto, not the guy that's doing Bruto, the original creator for, of Naruto. So do this man some justice, vote for him so we can see him. I need all you guys, all 125 of you, to vote for this man. So it'll be 125 over and we'll get that. But other than that, um, Bruto is something that I do watch, kind of, I just watch it just to watch it. Like, I'm not into it. I, write, I read the manga. The manga is getting, is getting good, but it only comes out once a month. So it's like, it's kind of hard to get into it really. But the, the anime is just like, what are you guys doing? Like, I think I understand what they're doing. They want Kawaii to be, I think they want us to love him. So when something happens between him and Bruto, we'll side with him more than Bruto because it seems like, Bruto's got a path that we, I think is going down. I, I, now, I don't know what's going to go happen, but I think Bruto's going to go down like an a evil path and Kawaii's going to go down a positive path and we're going to be focused on him more than Bruto. But I'm just, whatever. But the anime right now, we're trying to, I, I guess they're trying to put a lot of emphasis on that character so we could like kind of get familiar with him, have the whole village be familiar with him so when something does happen, the whole village will be with him, we'll say. But that's the end of the video. Again, I'm rambling because that's what I do in this channel. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Comment below if you made it this far and what, you, what kind of animes you're looking forward to in 2013, 2023 and why. I thought uh, Kaiju number 8 was going to be next year, but it seems like it's going to be 24. So we'll have two more years for that one. But again, comment below what you're looking forward to. Comment below what you're watching now. Comment below... Some of the stuff that you're into. Like this video if you got this far. Or if this video deserve a liking. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you know my wacky schedule of just putting out videos randomly. And you know what? I'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate you always.